It was quarterfinals day at the Torre Pan Pacific Open, and there was a famous face watching on in Tokyo. Martina Hingis, a five-time Grand Slam champion and a five-time winner of this tournament. The woman she beat for the 1997 US Open title, Venus Williams, was first up in the quarterfinal action, taking on one of the sport's rising stars, Eugenie Bouchard. Nearly 14 years younger than her opponent, the Canadian showed no signs of nerves. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. A back injury behind her, Venus looks to be regaining her power game. It's almost Venus Williams of old, isn't it? Rocketing first serve. Still one of the best in the business. That one of the fastest ever serves by a female player as she wrapped up the first sets. Yeah. Oh, she's missed out. <laughs> Venus Williams, six games to three. Bouchard may just be 19, but she's shown she has the shots to match it with the best. And this time it's uh, Bouchard finding the open space. Errors proving costly for Williams in the tiebreaker. Yeah. Now it hurts. The 19-year-old has fought back well in the second set. Bouchard was doing everything she could to stay alive in the decider. Oh, wow. Yeah. We're talking of fighting spirit. What about that from the Canadian? But it was Venus's day. The 33-year-old threw to the last four in Tokyo for the first time. And that'll do it. The Williams train continues to steam on here in the Japanese capital. Caroline Wozniacki was in a much more familiar position in her quarterfinal against Luigi Safarova. A former winner in Tokyo, the Dane didn't get off to a great start. That is outstanding. A tricky shot to play. Safarova on fire as she raced through the first set. A second love game of the set, just over 30 minutes required. Wozniacki went on the attack as she looked to fight her way back into the match. That's very nicely played. That approach paying dividends as holes began to appear in Safarova's game. That is loose. It's been a delightful turnaround in the second set for the number four seed. The Dane's dogged attitude continued to frustrate her opponents in the decider. Well, that is what you call hard work paying off. Now at two match points for Miss Caroline Wozniacki of Denmark. Safarova finally surrendering as Wozniacki closed it out. It is game, set a match to Caroline Wozniacki. Coming back from a set down, 2-6-6-3-6-2. After playing their third round matches only hours earlier, Petra Kvitova and Svetlana Kuznetsova were back on court again for their quarterfinal. Both players seemingly intent on getting the match over quickly. Yeah, that's strong play from Kvitova and she knows yeah. it. She's feeling pretty good about things and she should. And it was Kvitova who came up with the big shots when it mattered in the first set. Very effective opening set from Petra Kvitova. She hands Fetlana Kuznetsova her first drop set of the tournament. Kuznetsova soon began to tire as Kvitova raced through the second and into a place in the semi-finals. And too good. Petra Kvitova with her second victory over Svetlana Kuznetsova in as many meetings. There was a sense of deja vu for Angelique Kerber and Agnieszka Radvanska, who met in Tokyo for the third consecutive year. Radvanska had won both previous encounters, Kerber doing her best to avoid a hat-trick of defeats. Yeah, she's just blistering the ball, and this is impressive. Beating Kerber has been a good omen for Radvanska. She's reached the Tokyo final the last two years. Oh, that's a fine angle, and that's ridiculous. We know that Aga Radvanska can come up with some incredible shots. 14, 15. But Kerber soon had her on the back foot and was on course to break her drought. Oh, that's good stuff. 
Brad Vanska threw everything at Kerber, but nothing was working. One last winner sealing a job well done for the German. And there's the exclamation. Angelique Kerber has taken out Agnieszka Radvanska in straight sets. 6-4, 6-4.